The Discovery Palace in Central Paris is France's historic science museum. It's been closed for five years because of construction work, but it was due to open in March of this year. Authorities pushed the, that back. Now some leading scientists suspect the French government may decide not to reopen it at all. For more from our news desk, I'm joined by Shirley Sitbon. Hello to you, uh, Shirley. Well, the Palais de la Découverte is France's oldest, most prestigious science museum. Talk to us a little about what its goal was when it opened back in 1938 and what its goal is today. The goal is the same. It was founded by uh, scientists because they wanted to form new generations of scientists. The idea uh, is uh, to present the principles of science, try and make people uh, carry out experiments. And we can see, like, for example, this boy in mean, the story on French television in 1969. Uh, this was a, a video about the museum at the time in a very special day. This was in 1969, as Apollo 12 was about to be launched in, into the moon from Earth, and many people in France, not in this image of this TV image at the beginning, but in this, the room inside, many French people, Parisians, came to the museum to follow this. To them, this was crucial. The idea is to present the principles, but also the latest evolutions in science. And we can th see this at the time. The French television was there, various scientists explaining the principles and the people there sitting on the ground following the news. And let's listen uh, to one of the people who were there on that day explaining why he came to the museum to follow this launch. I came here because this is the place to follow Apollo 12's journey from Earth to the Moon. And the atmosphere here is wonderful to follow such a journey. But you have a television at home, right? Yeah, I, I do have a color television. I could watch this from home, but I think it's better here. There are experts here who explain things to us, you know, the goal of the mission. Because I'm no expert. I'm fascinated by this. It's wonderful. Now, decades later, we can see images. No renovations had been made in dozens and dozens of years. And when we look at the images just before the renovations in 2020, well, the building isn't that well off. Uh, water was dripping in the various rooms. I actually went there uh, with my children. It was pretty disappointing. Very interesting uh, exhibits, but the place was needed serious renovations. And that's why it closed down in 2020. It was supposed to reopen in March, then in June, and then no more dates. The French government is not sure it wants to reopen it there. Yeah, tell us more then about the, about the scientists' concern. Well, they're concerned because this was a top location for a science museum to bring in as many people as possible. At the bottom of the uh, Champs Elysees in central Paris. Now, the government, the culture minister, said a few weeks ago, she told French media, well, is it really worth using this amazing Grand Palais building? on the Champs-Élysées for a science museum, that's what she said, <laughs> using her words, when there's another museum at the other side of the capital, we can just merge the two, perhaps? Well, scientists were clearly shocked by that statement. They said, you don't just merge museums. This is a museum which is very specific about the basic data of science experiments. The other museum is Paris is more about the industry and how you apply science into the industry. And we can see uh, a letter uh, written by uh, various French uh, scientists, female scientists, who said they're extremely concerned. Without science, they tell the government, there is no industry. There are, there are new generations of scientists. And the, the women who, sa who signed this, they're also afraid that women will turn away from science if there aren't any museums there to attract them to that field. They're the heads of various industries in France, and they say that they learn to love science in this museum, and they think it should definitely uh, remain open. Uh, so yes, that's a concern, and also, it's happening today, today in an era where science is necessary more than ever with climate change, with uh, you know, artificial intelligence. And also, they were shocked by the statement saying you can just merge anything. They're saying it's like merging the Louvre and some modern art museum. It's just not the same thing. No, it's not, not indeed. Um, thank you very much, Shirley. Shirley Sitbon from our news desk.